I have a few questions for you. Do you like rhythm games? Do you like K-pop? And most importantly, do you want to look cool in front of your friends? If you said yes to any of these questions, stay here and watch this video. Because there's another game that I want to talk about today, and it's called Pump It Up. If you have been on YouTube, chances are that you've probably seen a video called Beethoven Virus DDR Level Asian, and you see this guy going absolutely insane while the crowd goes wild. Well, contrary to popular belief and what the title says, it may or may not be so obvious that this is not Dance Dance Revolution. No, while the game is very similar to DDR in many aspects, it has created an identity and community that makes it more than just an off-brand version of DDR. If you haven't heard of Pump It Up, it is a rhythm game series created by the South Korean company Andermiro in 1999, just a year after DDR released in Japan. The latest installment at the time of this video is called Pump It Up XX, which was created to coincide with the 20th anniversary of the series, and has a roster of 400 plus songs, ranging from K-pop to J-pop to original songs. And while the game sits in the shadow of DDR in America, Pump enjoys a lot of popularity in its home country of Korea and has developed a following in Southeast Asia and especially in Latin America. How you play is very similar to DDR, however instead of 4 arrow panels being placed in the cardinal directions, Pump has 5 arrow panels, 4 on the diagonal directions, and 1 button that's in the center. Other than that, how you play is essentially DDR. You pick your song, arrows will appear, and you must step on the arrows in time with the music all while making sure that your life bar does not deplete to zero. Aside from that, there are other ways to play the game, such as doubles, where instead of trying to hit 5 arrows, there are now 10 arrows for you to hit, using both the left and the right pads. Overall, there's really nothing else to say, as Pump doesn't really try to sell itself as a unique experience like Dance Rush. By the way, check out my video on Dance Rush if you haven't already, but I digress. The actual appeal of Pump It Up comes from its song selection, mechanics, and its capability to cater to the freestyle community. In terms of song selection, Pump features a whole variety of songs, especially K-pop. The game features popular songs such as Love Scenario by Icon, Very Nice by Seventeen, and Boomerang by 101. And yes, that K-pop lineup will definitely attract the stands for sure. However, if you're not a K-pop stan but a filthy weeb like me, Pump also has a lineup of Japanese music such as Bad Apple. But if you're a normie and these two genres don't appeal to you at all, don't worry because Pump also offers a huge lineup of original songs and remixes such as Black Swan and the aforementioned Beethoven Virus. Apart from the variety of songs, what makes Pump so great is that in some aspects, it is much more forgiving than DDR, as timing windows for notes are looser, making it easier for people to hit the notes on time. But that doesn't mean that the game is easier, because as you start getting into higher levels of play, the game will actually become harder than DDR. The game will throw patterns and gimmicks that will demand a ton of dexterity and technique in order to pass the song, especially as you play doubles. In fact, some songs are so hard that even top players have a hard time trying to pass the song, and I don't even mean like passing the song with a full combo, no, I mean top players will legitimately have a hard time trying to pass without their life bar being depleted. According to what i found, it's been documented that only 5 people have passed Paradox D28, which is regarded as one of the hardest if not THE hardest song in Pump It Up. And here's a video of FFM's making history as he was actually the first one to pass this song. <laughs>
fun fact is that he was the only one to pass the song until another player by the name of Yu Conduit passed the song a full two years later. If one thing is clear, the dedication of the players is something to be impressed about, as these players are so hardcore that people in the community have their own terminology, and some players even have their own pump it up machines, such as Happy Feet. In any case, don't let the high difficulty and the dedication of the community scare you away, because as long as you can recognize basic patterns and get used to the note speed, you should be able to complete a majority of songs with relative ease. And while the most popular way to play Pump is by trying to hit the notes in time of the music in singles and doubles mode, Pump also has a strong community of freestyle players. That's because not only does Pump offer singles and doubles charts for technical players, Pump also has a selection of charts called performance charts which are created specifically for freestyling. This sort of catering to the freestyle community allowed it to grow and have their own unofficial competitions. What makes Pump It Up Freestyle so unique is that players still have to hit the arrows while incorporating their dance moves. While it is definitely harder to freestyle in Pump because of this limitation, when people actually take into account the notes during their routine, it becomes a sight to behold. However, that does not mean that one play style is necessarily superior to the other, but it shows how Pump tries to cater to two very different types of players. In fact, there was an official tournament held by Andamiro called the World Pump Festival, where it had a freestyle section and a technical section, each with their own set of rules, and players from all over the world would come to play and show off their skills. <laughs> You might be on the fence about this game. You might pass this game in favor of one of those rigged ticket games. But I tell you that this game is definitely worth your time, not only because of its song selection and gameplay, but it's a great way to bond not only with friends but with other people. In fact, I can personally say that I wouldn't have met some of my friends if I didn't get into Pump. Oh, and if I haven't convinced you enough, Pump is also a pretty good workout, so that's a plus too. While I highly recommend for people to play Pump It Up, there are a few things that you should know. For one, you don't have to look very hard to find an arcade with a Pump It Up machine, as most Dave & Busters and Round 1 arcades have the newest version. Also, there are smaller arcades that will have some iteration of Pump It Up, whether it be XX or one of the older versions. And while you don't need to do this to fully enjoy what Pump It Up has to offer, I would suggest that you would buy Ander Miro's AM Pass card, not only because you get a cool looking card, but it also gives you the ability to unlock more songs, as well as track things such as scores, note settings, and time played, among other things. In conclusion, Pump It Up is definitely not for the faint of heart, yet I would still recommend it because it can appeal to different types of people. On the one hand, it has enough K-pop to attract all the Korea boos. On the other hand, it offers a challenge to those who are looking to pass the most difficult charts. On the other other hand, it's flexible enough for the freestylers to attract crowds with their routines. The benefits of Pump are not limited to its gameplay, but it's also a way for you to show off in front of friends and strangers. It's a great way to exercise and to socialize with people that you normally wouldn't talk to. So yeah, go play Pump, it'll be great, I promise.
And before I end this video, I would like to give a special thanks to my friend Pendy as he helped mix this wonderful voiceover, because if he didn't, the audio would have sucked. So if you're into some lo-fi, feel free to check him out, I'll put a link into the description below. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, and if I ever make another video about a rhythm game, it'll probably be about DDR. But until then, I'll see you next time. Peace.